Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Andrew and I would like to just take a second to say thank you for checking out my video. Welcome to my page. Um, it is brand new so far. This is my first video I've posted and I am getting this channel started to document my transformation, my hopeful transformation over the next eight weeks as my wife and I take on the One Up Nutrition Transformation Challenge. So it is January 27th. The challenge officially began today and so it ends March, sometime in March. I don't wanna do that math right now. So we are just, we're getting started. And uh, I wanted to do an introduction video, let you guys know who I am, why I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully you guys wanna join in on my journey, follow along and let me know what you guys think. And let me know if any of you are doing the same thing. I would love to follow you guys and hear your stories, watch your transformations. So like I said, my name is Andrew, uh, I'm 27 years old. I currently live in San Diego, California. I live with my wife, who is also 27. Her name's Claire. And uh, the two of us, we, we have a, an interesting kind of background with fitness. We both played sports our entire lives into our high school careers, and they both ended for different reasons. Um, my wife ended, unfortunately, due to injury. Mine ended, unfortunately, due to uh, laziness. So, um, we both kind of fell out of sports. She played a little bit in terms of like adult league volleyball. Um, I pretty much did nothing other than bowl, which for those of you who are bowlers or you don't think it's a, a sport to make fun of, you know that it's all your arm, <laughs> essentially. So I never really stayed in shape. But with that being said, to go just a little bit deeper into who I am. Um, I am a trans man, so I was born female. I've transitioned to male. And my issue with weight really took off when I started my physical transition. So I had already started gaining some weight, um, but not anything crazy. I met my wife, I'm, I'm also, I'm five foot six, so I'm not super tall. When I met my wife, I weighed about 130 pounds, and unfortunately all of that was basically fat, but I didn't look fat, I didn't look overweight. Um, I was pretty healthy for, for my size, basically. But about in May of 2014, actually, I started my physical transition. So I started taking hormones every week, and that caused me to just like skyrocket with my weight. Um, that coupled, of course, with bad eating habits, lack of exercise. So all of those combined, I shot up within a couple months up to about 185, which is the highest I've been. Um, right now, at the start of this challenge, I'm sitting at about 175. I've kind of been fluctuating between 170 to 180 over the past about five and a half years. So once I hit that peak, I kind of just stayed. I've gained some muscle over the years, kind of in and out of, of working out, nothing consistent really. So. And some parts of it, actually the majority of it was my fault, um, but some of it was also because of the medication I took. And I know that some other um, trans guys have experienced the same kind of thing. Um, but with that being said, that kind of just led me into a realm of life that I didn't really have the energy or the desire to work out. Um, so my health kind of just went the wrong way. My wife and I, we got comfortable together. We both like developed poor eating habits or just kind of worsened our eating habits really. Um, constant eating out, junk food. I have such a bad sweet tooth. So just always making bad decisions really. And we have tried a handful of times to get on track with our fitness and obviously to no avail. It's just not been something that we've consistently done or stuck to. And uh, we'll go, you know, a couple days or a couple weeks and then some food calls <laughs> my name and Taco Bell at two o'clock in the morning and just, you know, bad decisions are made. So we are finally at a point to where we're ready to take control of our lives. Um, we've been vegetarian for a little over two years now and we have felt pretty dang good being vegetarian in terms of how our bodies have felt. And so we are finally at a point where we're like, hey, you know what, like mentally we're feeling pretty good, physically we're feeling better, so why not just take it to the next step? So I came across the One Up Challenge through Instagram. Actually, I was just scrolling through my feed one day, saw an ad, and saw that it was free to join. So I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I need is a written out game plan, a written out nutrition plan, something just simple, easy, laid out for me, 
and all I have to do is just the heavy lifting. I checked it out, talked to my wife, she was on board, and we had already been starting to go to the gym just a little bit at this point, um, but finding that challenge really like propelled us further into the gym and it really got us motivated to go. So we decided we were gonna do it. Like, hey, let's do the damn thing. And uh, that's where we're at now. So like I said, today's day one of the official challenge starting. And we've been trying to eat healthier for the past couple of weeks as is, you know, the start of the new year, go to the gym. And I've already started to see a little bit of change in my body from inconsistent working out along with healthy eating habits. So to me, when I start to see those, I get really excited for what it's gonna look like when there's consistent working out and healthy eating habits. Cause I know the two of them coupled together are gonna be drastic changes. So I'm super excited to take on this eight week challenge. I know my wife is too. And um, really our goals through all of this, I, at least for me, I can't speak for my wife, but for me, my main goal is that this challenge helps me build just a, a great foundation of fitness to bounce off of. So that way at the end of this eight weeks, I can just keep moving forward and keep progressing in my health and my fitness, learning new things, trying new things, but really just at the end of the day, being healthy. Because like I said, we both come from athletic backgrounds, so it's not new to us to sit here and work out or try new things. Um, it's just, it's we're rusty at it, it's been a while. So I'm learning my way around a gym better all my sports were outdoors. I never was in a gym. Um, I played soccer mostly, I ran track and field, but I would always skip on weightlifting days in school. I didn't wanna be there, I didn't wanna do it. So um, in terms of the gym itself, I'm not 100% comfortable, but it is super exciting to have this plan laid out for us because we went to the gym this morning at 5 a.m. and uh, it was kinda nice to be able to go through and just have a simple handful of workouts know exactly what we're gonna do and know how to approach them. Anything that we didn't know, we just YouTubed, hey, how do I do this movement? And there you go, we got through our workout, it felt really good. So I'm excited to see what the next five days of workouts are. For those of you who aren't familiar with the challenge, the way that this one at least is laid out is six days of working out, five days of lifting, one day of active rest, and then on the seventh day is just total rest. So um, our game plan for the active rest day really is just being outdoors a lot. We live in San Diego, so there's beautiful hikes everywhere that we can go. Um, we are members of the zoo, so we walk around the zoo. And for anybody who has not been to the San Diego Zoo, it can be a bit of a workout. There are a ton of hills up and down, and there's a certain area in the back of the zoo by the polar bears that we tend to avoid because of how gnarly that hill is. Um, but things like that, we wanna just make our active rest day as fun as possible something that we look forward to doing. Um, that's what our main plan is, is just try to keep things as fun and easy as possible. And by easy, I mean easy to think about and easy to process in terms of like, I'm not trying to create this whole intense, crazy weightlifting schedule or anything like that. So it's another thing I love about it. Like I said, is, is it's just super simple and basic, ready to go. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I have. This is just a basic introductory video. I wanna let you guys know who I am, like I said, um, why I'm doing what I'm doing, and hopefully you guys follow along in the journey. My plan is to post every week if I can. I'm gonna try to throw workout videos in there if possible, but my gym does not allow recording or pictures of any kind, so we have to sneak them. So any videos I do throw in might not be the best of angles or qualities, just bear with me. Um, you guys feel free to follow me on my Instagram, at Drew's Journey and you'll see better clips most likely on there. It's gonna be a little bit easier to upload them via Instagram because they're just gonna be small, easy clips. So if you guys follow along, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button in the corner. It would mean a whole bunch to me to have you guys follow me on this journey. And uh, I, like I said, if any of you are on the same one or even a different kind of fitness journey, any kind of journey, shout out, holler. I'd love to follow you guys and to get some motivation from you and to learn and grow together as a community. So.